Welcome back. Our next guest is Danielle Brydung, chair of this year's Mayfest and fellow Bluffton Rotarian. Thanks for joining us, Danielle. Good morning. So tell us about the 40th Mayfest. This is a big deal. So when is it? Where is it? Who coordinates it? Give us the scoop. This is a huge deal. So it's coordinated by the Bluffton Rotary Club. This year it'll be on Saturday, May 12th, the day before Mayfest, or before Mayfest, before Mother's Day. And it'll be on Calhoun Street in downtown Bluffton. Perfect. So we know reg vendor registration is underway. This is going to be here before we even know it, blink of an eye. So how can a vendor apply and what's the process to get that done? So the first place is to go to BluftonMayFest.com and under the Forms tab there is an online application for arts and crafts vendors and a separate one for food vendors. You can also do the payment online this year. So we make the process really easy. There's an early deadline on March 16th, which is this Friday. And the second deadline is April 27th. So if vendors are sure they want to participate, they should apply sooner than later because we look at all of the applications in batches and then we send out the approval acceptance letters shortly thereafter. Okay, so you mentioned food vendors. Let's hover there for a second because a lot of them need some special attention, some power, things like that. Um, how do you handle that when they need special arrangements? So that's why we have separate applications for the arts and craft vendors and the food vendors. The food vendors we know often need power. They probably would like to be located on a corner, things like that. So within the food vendor application, there's a place to indicate whether power is needed or not, as well as any special requests like larger spaces and things like that. So you mentioned the deadlines for registration. Um, now we've got an early bird and then we've got sort of a normal or a late bird, if you will. So is that a hard deadline? Do we really want to make sure that those vendors get in before that final date? Definitely. So the space is very limited. Um, obviously within the first batch we see more than half of our vendors already accepted. So the space has become more limited as we get closer to the deadline. So the sooner folks apply, the more likely they are to get in. Great. So we know that Rotary is a volunteer organization. It's made up of volunteers all over the world and certainly locally. Um, but what about people who aren't necessarily Rotarians or aren't Rotarians yet uh, who would like to get involved in a volunteer capacity? Are you seeking that? Is that something people can do? And if so, how do they do it? Definitely. We love to have community volunteers get involved. We've already had a few sign up. And the best way to get in touch with us is to email bluffedinmayfest at gmail.com. That sends an email directly to me and I write back and say these are the opportunities we have available, these are you know, the times, and so people can get involved in lots of different ways. So there, are there still a lot of different ways to get involved? Do we need some volunteers? We always need volunteers. Fantastic. So tell us, why should everyone save the date to come to Mayfest this year? So not only is this year the 40th annual Mayfest, but it is such a fun event filled with food, entertainment, an ugly dog contest, pie eating contest, lots of fun things for people of all ages. Um, we make it very accessible for folks, so strollers, dogs, um, grandparents, everyone is invited to come and join us. It's going to be a great event. Absolutely, as it always is. And as you said, 40th anniversary of this event. So it has been a staple in the Bluffton community for a very long time. That's right. Looking forward to this as always. Danielle, thanks so much for stopping by, and we cannot wait to visit the event. Thank you.